Hi, AJ. Would you please tell us what is beta-glucan? Hi, Patricia. That's probably one of the most commonly asked questions. If I get into an elevator and I got three floors to go up, I'm going to explain to them that beta-glucan is a complex carbohydrate, very complex, not like a simple sugar that you have to worry about your, your, your diabetes or, or whatnot. And, and some might even refer to it as a fiber. Hey, AJ, uh, where does beta-glucan come from? Beta-glucan is, is kind of a general term, and it can come from multiples of sources. Probably the Cheerios girl made uh, barley and oats famous. Three grams daily of beta-glucan, a soluble fiber from whole grain oat foods like Cheerios, can help lower cholesterol. Uh, certain seaweeds, mushroom, probably one of the oldest sources, and uh, we use for example, uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is a form of baker's yeast. Now, over the last several years, different companies have sought out other sources and, you know, the, it, it adds to a little bit of confusion in the marketplace, but but we typically look to uh, extracts from, from baker's yeast. Hey, AJ, can you tell me what does beta-glucan do? Most of our conversations have to do with the immune system and in particularly the immune response. Now, again, if you're talking to the Cheerios girl, she's going to be talking about lowering cholesterol, so cardiovascular issues. And there are many other things as a pre-probiotic, the friendly gut bugs, you know, enjoy this material uh, topically. It's great for the skin and, and, and various sundry concoctions now you're starting to see particularly in some of the higher priced uh stores you're going to see beta glucan as one of the uh listed ingredients but but for most of our conversation we'll be talking about how the immune system responds in a better way uh when when beta glucan is is uh is in play so i'm curious about who benefits by taking beta glucan can everyone take it and can everyone benefit from it Thanks. I always used to say anybody can fog up a mirror. Uh, <laughs> if you're above room temperature, uh, and it's not just people, pets. Uh, I mean, this stuff has been uh, researched and tremendous amounts of literature on PubMed on anything from fish to earthworms to shrimp, you name it. In fact, there's even data on, on certain plants improving their immune response against certain plant diseases when uh, beta-glucan is, is uh, employed. So it is a broad umbrella that this cast when, when you start talking about who can or what can benefit. So AJ, is beta-glucan actually safe for everyone? I would say probably it's safer than the water you drink, particularly if you're someplace like Detroit. Uh, I mean, the window of safety is so broad, it's, it's hard to even describe it. Some of the research has had long-term studies of not just milligrams, but grams. I mean, huge amounts of material being used for long periods of time and, and no side effects whatsoever. Hey, AJ. Are all beta-glucan products the same? Well, no. In fact, as I said earlier, uh, you've not only got different sources, whether or not you're using pond scum or seaweed or mushrooms or baker's yeast, the actual molecular structure of these beta-glucans will, will vary quite a bit. Uh, without getting too much into the tall weeds, if you can imagine a long chain of let's say pearls, and you've got little side chains coming out. The frequency of those side chains and the length of those side chains will have a significant impact on the amount of immunological activity that's produced by a particular dose. Hey AJ, have there been any studies done on beta-glucan? Well, funny you should ask. I went to uh, PubMed just yesterday, and it was just short of 196,000 studies that popped up when I typed in just the word glucan. 
Now, out of all of those studies, I'd have to say probably cancer would be at the top of the pile and well over 12,000 studies when you look at a combination uh, exercise of glucan plus cancer. And those numbers literally are, are changing in the few minutes we're doing this work. Hey, AJ, how does beta-glucan compare to other immune products? Well, I think the, the biggest difference is that this material actually works. Uh, unfortunately, in the food supplement industry, uh, companies are not compelled to put forth evidence. And, and somehow people are under the misconception uh, that the FDA or somebody actually is out there testing or employing some sort of a, a question answer as to whether or not certain ingredients are even safe to use. That, that's not the case. Um, so I'd have to say the biggest difference is that at a relatively small dose, I'm talking about milligrams, we produce more immune response than you could get maybe with pounds of other quote unquote beta glucans from the various source. Hey AJ, um, I've been taking beta glucan for a while now and I was just curious, how do I know that it's working? Well, the, the way that we do it when, when we're doing testing for medical research is literally thousands of dollars uh, are spent on immunological testing. We'll look at white blood cells, how many are working, how many are not, uh, how many are producing what are called cytokines, lymphokines. Think of those as immunological fax messages and emails. There's a list of about probably 10 or 12 common indicators that, that can be uh, that can be used. I, I think for the typical Joe and Sally citizen, if they understand enough to go to PubMed and look for the material that we you know talk about, then you're going to find a, a list of studies not only that show that it works, but whoever's number two. You, you couldn't afford it. Uh, you, we're talking thousands of dollars, many thousands of dollars before you get anything that even moves the needle just a little bit. Hey, AJ, how do I take beta-glucan and what's the proper dose? Well, the, the, the most common uh, dosing method uh, is, is orally. Now, we've done all kind of testing, uh, IV, IM, IP, but uh, you know, since we don't sell it as a as a pharmaceutical today, even though it's it's on route to to one day probably being used as a pharmaceutical, uh, we're we're looking at orally dosing, and the dose is based upon individuals' body weight, and so whether or not you're you're giving it to your parakeet, whether you're giving it to your dog, whether you're giving it to your daughter or son or whether you're gonna take it, it's based upon the body weight. The more an individual weighs, the higher the dose needs to be.